My name is Shauna Simpson. I'm the vice president of GTSKS Software Consulting. I'm also a personal fitness and health consultant. I'm the wife and the mom of two wonderful boys. And I'm here to talk to you about the importance of a dangling carrot. So you're probably asking yourself, why did she go on and on about her introduction? Because I actually can't really believe it. It's kind of cool to think that this was the person that I was 10 years ago. I was completely overweight, pushing almost 100 pounds overweight. I was miserable. I was depressed. I worked in a cubicle farm north of Tulsa where I hated my job. I was like a lot of people where I just simply went through every day trying to be anonymous. But then something changed. What happened to create the person that I am today? The person who's wearing the first fitted shirt I've ever worn in 20 years. Thank you, God, for Spanx. Well, two people, a run, two running coaches, a uh, breast cancer survivor, and my loving husband gave me the support, the tools, and the love that I needed to change my life forever. You see, what I needed was motivation. And in the last five years of being a running coach, I've had the wonderful opportunity to help guide and coach other runners to their goals. I ran marathons and all kinds of distances between. And I'll tell you, my first marathon was breathtaking. It was amazing. But my last one was incredible because I got to help coach my best friend through his marathon. And so when I look back and I see the things that have, that have happened, that have made me become you know, the person that I am, it made me think, well, what exactly is motivation? I mean, what, what motivates us? What can I do to motivate others? Well, the answer is this. Motivators are the little things, the purpose, the praise, the money, the attention, the acceptance that make us become the people that we already know we can, but we're not there. So why am I talking about it today? Well, frankly, because one thing. We've all worked in a situation with somebody who sucks at it. We've all had a Lumberg in our life. Somebody who you only did what you had to do to just get by to get the guy to shut up. And if you've been in even a worse situation, you've had to deal with a Hawaiian shirt Friday. And so I'm going to sit here for the next couple of minutes, and I'm going to try to explain to you how to avoid your Hawaiian shirt Friday for your teammates, your coworkers, your family, anybody who you want to see have a better life. So... What's the one thing you have to do to be a good motivator? You have to stop and listen. Motivation isn't a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. Everybody's individual. We all need different things. We all respond to different stimuluses to make us become the people that we are. Just like each person in this room is completely different from each other, you have to provide the type of information that they need. We're not birds waiting for regurgitated information like you see a lot of times on Twitter and Facebook. People just throwing out junk like it's just going to smack and finally hit somebody that it actually applies to. We have appetites for our own cravings. There's a story my mom told me about when I was a kid, she made meatloaf. I told her I wasn't going to eat it. She told me there's starving kids in Africa who, wanted, you know, who needed food. I told her, they eat rice meal. Have you seen the crap that they eat? They die if they eat your meatloaf. While I didn't exactly win points with my mom, I had a good point. Because each person is hungry for something different. You have to provide the correct carrot for each individual person. If you don't, your motivation's going to actually fall on deaf ears. And what good is that? So, first and foremost, motivation has to leave an aftertaste. You can choose. Is it a good aftertaste or is it a bad aftertaste? A bad aftertaste is a Lumberg. It's the kind of thing that makes you just want to get it done, get it over with. But a good aftertaste will make the person crave success. It'll make them crave to be a better person, to, to succeed in the things. Because see, we all have our own flames, but what we need is somebody to come along and ignite it. Now, a lot of you saw the little byline that I put on why I was up here speaking, and part of it was because I wanted to prove that Jeff Simpson is full of crap. Here's why. At Ignite Tulsa One, he came up here and he told you that I was intrinsically motivated to run, even if it meant that I would just win a hand towel or a, or a towel, you know, or a bag. But I'm here to tell you that yes, I have intrinsic motivation to actually run, but there's one thing that can help me get to the goals that I want to get to. It's this guy right here. The Tulsa World printed this paper, it printed this on the front page of the paper the day after the marathon. That's me right there in the red shirt. This is my husband holding up a sign that said, honey, you're doing a good job. You have no idea what the power of one simple little thing that you can do, one simple action that you can do, a hand that you can hold out, a sign, or a goofy little shirt that you can wear while your husband's running his first marathon that can do, that can promote greatness in other people. Take the time to find out what they need, what the people who you want to have the goals accomplished in their life need, but be motivating yourself. You can't preach something and then not get out and run in the snow when you're telling everybody else to go and run 10 miles on a Saturday. 
So here's my challenge to you. Find somebody in your life that you want to see succeed, that you want to see reach goals that they haven't been able to do, because nothing feels better than to watch your little guy win his first race. (laughs) 